Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel as you watch me draw and I blather on about whatever I feel like talking about for the day. I'm your lovely voice and host, Anime Christy, back from the dead once more to share stories and hope you get a good laugh or, I don't know, something out of them. You know why you clicked on this video. You want to see manga come and exposed for the monster he truly is! <gasps> and I'm here to provide. Today's drawing is old footage of a traditional drawing of my old character, Safi, but as an Animal Crossing deer, since at the time I was obsessed with New Horizons, and honestly I just did not want this old footage to go to waste, and this was all made back in April, so I hope you enjoy it. And hey, if you find this entertaining, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and maybe you can enjoy some future content. Now, grab yourself a hot beverage, cozy up under a blanket, and enjoy. So there I was, the summer of 2020. I spent my time living with my boyfriend, who most of you know as Monk Common, Mango Cayman, Bone, Bone Daddy, Daddy, whatever you prefer to call him. So we've been together for four years, since July 9th, 2016. It's been a long journey, but at the beginning of the year before COVID was a thing, we were spending Christmas together, and we were really sad when I had to travel back home for school. So we agreed to try living together for the summer just to see if we could stand living with each other for longer than two weeks. And then COVID hit in March, and I left for his place in the middle of May with his mom, and I left my car at home because it was a hunk of junk that could not survive the seven hour trip down south. I'm sorry. When we got down there, Manga's mom stayed for a week. Meanwhile, I was adjusting to the new time. I was setting up my traditional art department in the garden room full of dead bugs and killer wasps. Nope, seriously, I saw what was probably the biggest wasp, hornet, whatever it was in my entire life, and I had to wait for Common to take me to a place where I could get my computer fixed before I could get back to do any form of work. And yes, this was around the time when I couldn't make videos, and when things got fixed, I shouted, Well, fuck! Alright, you caught up to speed with the exposition? Good. Now here's the juicy, juicy meat that y'all are really here for. When you're in a relationship, I don't think that many people realize that living with someone for a long period of time, whether it be your friend, a stranger, for a roommate, or whatever, you gotta figure out some shit, unless you're lucky and can manage living alone with a cat, and maybe you're used to it because you've lived with like siblings in your room, I didn't when I was growing up, it was just me. You can love someone very much, but find out that you can't stand each other when you start living under the same roof. At this point in our relationship, we've had to call each other out on our bad habits. Since we weren't used to living in the same space outside of hotel rooms, during conventions, and maybe the two-week max Christmas vacation. Uh, for example, I sometimes leave a dish or two lying around, or I don't put things back in their place because my mind tends to wander off into the next room. Common, for example, will leave a case full of empty water bottles on his floor because he's never had to worry about someone sleeping in the same bed as he does. That is, if the dog doesn't kick me out of bed first. Speaking of the dog, Seely, this is my adopted fur baby, who I love more than my own fur baby because Sammy is a dick who likes my dad more. If you guys want to hear stories about Sam, then, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to provide in a future video. Seely is a warm and cuddly black lab mix with a uh, Dalmatian. I thought she was a pit bull, but I guess I'm wrong. But she she likes to take up half the bed and all she wants is love and I have nothing but love to give to that sweet baby. And food. We have food for the sweet baby, she's not starving. But in Common's house there are three bedrooms, there's his, his uh, parents old bedroom and a guest bedroom and if she kicks me off the bed I'll usually just get up at night and go into another room, and she'll follow me, which is very precious, but very counterintuitive, because she's the one who kicked me out in the first place. Uh, I still love her to death, though. I, I have nothing bad to say about Seely. She's just a sweetheart. All right, one thing to note, I need to acknowledge that I am not the perfect girlfriend. I get mad over dumb things like common leaving knives and dishwater whenever we have to go hand wash our dishes, and I find myself bored and disrupting his work because I want attention. That 
and being a Libra, it is by law that I can't decide pretty much anything by myself. Hey Christy, what do you want to do for dinner? I don't know. Do you want to watch The Simpsons or Bar Rescue? I don't know. Noodles, pizza, burgers, or sushi, don't make me decide, they all sound wonderful. There is one thing for sure that made him miss having me around, other than, like, just the company. And I don't want to brag, but... <laughs> Damn, I am a good cook, according to that man. Uh, well, except for that time I made French toast, that was an absolute nightmare. My specialty is Italian-American cooking, and Common's favorite thing at that time that I used to make was tortellini alfredo with shrimp. The alfredo sauce I used to make wasn't anything out of a can or a jar. No, no. It was made out of scratch with heavy whipping cream, some butter, salt, pepper, other spices I can't reveal, and a good mix of fresh parmesan and romano cheese. My mom had to tell me over the phone how to actually make the recipe, and she swears that a few shots of Worcestershire make it better. But honestly, it was fine the way it was when I made the sauce and had the main cook of the family, so sorry ma, I'm going with my gut. Dates during COVID weren't really anything special, to be honest. It was mostly ordering from somewhere and being in each other's company. It was still nice, but my favorite kind of dates were the following. We only did this two weekends, but Kam and I would go out to a drive-in movie, which is probably a booming business practice during the summer since it encourages social distancing. But even before COVID hit, I wanted my man to take me out to see a drive-in movie. We both watched movies that one person had seen, but the other hadn't. Mine was the Sonic movie, and his was Bohemian Rhapsody as part of my plot to get him into rock and roll. <laughs> it was nice. And while the theater snack shack didn't have popcorn, seriously, that has to be some kind of crime against humanity, they had pretty much everything else under the sun. Snow cones, tear tots, corn dogs, jalapeno hot dogs, burgers, friggin' funnel cakes. It was like going to the state fair without having to go to the state fair. While we did pay the concession stand for their snacks, uh, we did have to lie to a poor old lady who's working the ticket booth. Oh dearie, do you have any snacks to claim for your $10 permit? Uh, do these cheap water balls count that we got from home? Oh no, that's fine dear, here are your tickets, have a nice night. We had so many snacks under my seat since I initially did not want to pay for popcorn. We bought a bag of that white cheddar flavored popcorn that you can get at grocery stores. We also picked up these small containers of cotton candy and because, well, what the hell, uh, we had soda on top of the water. Though I never really did finish my soda and stuck it in the fridge later on after the movie. And before you ask, yes, being unhinged with my boyfriend over the summer did help me gain weight. I'll get to that later. The only thing that kinda sucked though for going to the drive-in was the heat. During the movie, you gotta turn off your car lights to avoid disturbing the other guests. Common decided to leave to get more snacks and I was tweeting about the good old time that was happening until bam bam bam, confrontation with security. I hid my snacks underneath the box tray, thinking I was going to somehow get busted for the snacks without a permit, because I actually felt really guilty for lying to the old lady. <laughs> and I, I was asked to turn off the car lights. Uh, so listen, I did not dare to touch Common's car while I was down south living with him. I didn't want to somehow get into a wreck because I'm in unfamiliar territory, both in state and vehicle. So I had to wait for him to come back only to find out that he didn't have a setting for his car to shut off his automatic lights. There was no way. So in order to enjoy the movie, we had to shut off the entire vehicle. We had no air conditioning for almost two hours. I don't care who you are, that just sucks. But we weren't going to care in our way out of getting our asses kicked just because we didn't have air conditioning. I think turning off the car would have been a problem if we didn't have access to the radio, since you could only listen to the movie by turning it on to a particular station within that range. 
We ended up getting a hand fan for the next time so we could survive the southern heat. As for the second kind of date that I bet you forgot about because the story went on for way too long, it's a simpler version of the drive-in movie experience except we put blankets in the living room floor, turned on Commons PlayStation, and we watched Mystery Science Theater 3000. But what about the sex? Boy, that ain't none of your business. I think my main downside for living down south for the summer was that I gained way too much weight and I did not bother to check the scale while I was down there for three months and it turns out eating whatever you want without worrying about the consequences cost about 15-20 pounds give or take. I shaved off 16 so far within two months and given my circumstances, I'm looking to make sure I keep shedding off the pounds. People have been telling me, well, why be on a diet during a pandemic? What's the point? Oh, I don't know, so I don't end up in a state where I gotta wash myself with a rag on a stick? Okay, this is going off the rails a bit, but it's actually kind of hard to be healthy in America, especially if you're living where Common and I were living at the time. The area had so many fast food places and just a lot of places to eat in general. And unless you were going to a place like Tropical Smoothie Cafe or Salad Works, you'll likely see multiple Burger Kings, Arby's, McDonald's, KFC, Sonic's. It goes on and on from there, but... If there is one place that I would go back to over and over again, despite my diet, it would probably be Rally's. And it's specifically for their fries. And if you have not had Rally's fries, then you are missing out. I am aware of how counterproductive that statement is, considering I am trying to get better in terms of health. However, if I was on death row right now, the first thing I'd order, and the only thing I'd order, are five Fry Lover-sized Rally's Fries. That's it. My mother is also a really big fan of Rally's Fries, so I used to actually text her pictures of the fries that I'd get every time I'd go out to Rally's with Common. And the best part is that she'd get mad and jealous because I was at Rally's and she wasn't, and it was great. In all seriousness though, I'm actually trying to manage my weight better because when I got on the scale and saw how much bigger I had gotten, it scared me and Common was just as upset as I was over the circumstances that it came to a point where we both decided to do better for ourselves. When I reach a huge milestone with my weight later on down the line, I think I'll make a video based around that journey in my life, but for now, I'm just gonna keep on vibing and keep on doing what I'm doing because it's working! Hey! Another one of my biggest takeaways from living with Common is that my mental health actually improved while I was living with him. Yeah, we got into fights over some really dumb shit, but what couple doesn't do that? I've been open about this before to other people, but I don't think I've ever really touched upon it in a video before. So here we go into some sensitive territory. My home life is not the best. When you grew up living in a college town and you're attending the college you've grown up around all your life, depending on who you're living with, it's not exactly the best way to grow up. While yes, I live rent-free with my parents during school, it doesn't mean it's the greatest thing. Even when I became an adult, I never felt like one. I can't exactly afford to move out though because being a full-time art student is a very demanding life. Except instead of getting paid, you're often paying for art supplies. And you're always being constantly told that your work isn't always the best and here's why. And, you know, okay, I'll take the criticism, but, ugh, I'm often accused of being lazy when, in reality, my time is taken up by my commitment as an art student. And, ugh, I've been called worse, but there were days where I just couldn't take it anymore. When I moved down with Common for the short time we had, it was the happiest time I had felt in a while. I felt free despite not having a car to go anywhere, not like I left the house to begin with. And there were times where I felt homesick, but that's just from living in the same house all my life. And yeah, even though we were both pretty annoyed with each other, we were just happy being with each other. 
something I wouldn't trade for the world. I didn't have to fear displaying emotions because I've grown up in a place where I'm forced to either stay silent or be miserable if I display any form of positive emotions around one of my parents. It was nice to walk around and just not be afraid to be myself. I didn't have to hear phrases like, you're being too loud or you're being lazy whenever I come home from a long day of school and just want to decompress. There are other phrases I know people who have been in a similar situation to me can relate to, but why do I stay? I'm at a point in my life where there's just no turning back from the path I've chosen, and financially speaking, it's not in my best interest to leave. One of the main things that keeps me going is the thought that if I want to leave, I can just drive seven hours down south to see my boyfriend, and... Also, the fact that I know I'll be getting out soon. I don't know how soon, but soon. Common loves me and I love him. He's proven it to me time and time again that he loves me despite how tough our relationship can be. I also gotta say that Common is pretty dif different compared to his videos. While he is very argumentative in person, he is also really sweet, really goofy with me, and he is often trying to make me laugh whenever he can. He respects me both as a creator, a person, and as a woman. One of my last nights before he had to drive me home, he came back home after work with a heart-shaped grocery store platter of sushi, and we shared it, and... Say whatever you want about that, but that stuff is cute as hell, and unless it came from a gas station, there's no way I'm going to say no to sushi. And yes, ladies, he is a man who will go out and get the best chocolate to make sure that Shark Week is as painless as it possibly can be for both of our six. That's how you know you got a man who gets it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And now shouting out my cosmic rainbow dragon eggs, Kyle Christensen and Grim Baby. Thank you both for your support. I love you both so much. To everyone else, if you want a shout out, you can go to patreon.com slash anime and look into the tiers, see what you'd like and consider becoming a patron. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to leave a like, maybe hit the bell button, and maybe check out some of my older videos on my channel. And hey, to every other person out there with a significant other, whether you be LGBTQ or if you're cis, leave some of your favorite stories about your significant other in the comments section below. I'd love to read them. I, I need some wholesomeness in my life. Thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope everybody stays safe out there. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Oh,